Hello guys. Today I will show you how to create this in Cinema 4D. So let's create a cylinder. Align it to plus Z. Radius of 20. Height 500. 500 in segments and 80 in rotation. Let's also create a spline. Select the cylinder. Let's also add a spline wrap deformer. Press shift. Select spline wrap and let's draw the spline we just created. Then change the access to Z. So we have something like this one. Select our spline and let's change it to subdivided. So we have a smoother spline. Now let's create our corona shader. Let's add a new material. And let's add a black, almost black diffuse. Let's check on reflection put the closeness to 0.5 the color of the reflection to 50% gray and let's rename this main let's create another one Let's uncheck the fuse and let's check on self illumination. And on the texture tab, let's select plugins, corona, and wire. So let's adjust, check with pixels. This to point two. Then let's change the edge color to a teal color. Let's just copy this one. Just drag this to the opacity. And let's enable opacity. Change color the edge to black and white because we will be using this is a mask. So we need it black and white. Now let's create corona layered material. Let's double click this one. drag the main to the base material and our wire let's put the amount to 1 and you can see a mask tab here the right side so let's click on this one let's add gradient select 2 dv let's put this to black then let's add a white here 
right click and select step in the interpolation drop it something like this one now let's add the keyframe so let's go to the first frame then click on this to add the keyframe then let's go to our last frame this one and again let's add a keyframe so when you play this one it looks like this let's set up our project settings let's put the frames per seconds to 24 frames and on the render settings let's also change this to 24 okay let's add the corona camera let's activate the camera let's put our render to corona render Let's also add a corona light. I click on the light and let's add a Cinema 4D target tag. And let's select the cylinder and drag it in the target object. Let's reposition our light. bring down the intensity to 10 let's also add a protection tag in our camera let's apply our material to our cylinder and the projection let's change it to cylindrical it 90 degrees let's just disable this spline wrap for now so that we can see what we are working on here in the material tag let's right click and fit object and let's just click no for now then let's enable this one again So when we render right now, you can see that our projection is not working well. This is because our projection is not respecting our spline deformer, spline wrap deformer. So what, so what would we do is just apply a tag, cinema for the tags and apply a stick texture. Now when we render, you can see that the projection is now working well. So here the corona render, let's go to post and let's add a bloom and glare. Let's check this one and let's add 10 to both bloom and glare and threshold bring it down to zero. set up our output directory here and change it to all frames from the corona tab let's change the pass limit to up to 5 